Hi, this is James Cook of the University of Maine at Augusta, and today we're going to talk about uh, precision, accuracy, reliability, and validity when it comes to measuring uh, variables and how we decide to go about measuring them. Let's think about the variable location. And we might conceptualize that. It's important to conceptualize. And we might say, uh, location refers to the uh, coordinates in geographic space uh, on Earth of where a person is. Um, so if I wanted to uh, capture that, I might go out and I might uh, ask people, hey, so where are you? I might interview them and say, where are you right now? But that might not be a valid way of measuring the concept geographic location because the question in the English language, hey, where are you, can elicit metaphorical responses. A person might say, hey, I'm in my happy place. Uh, I'm in a good place today. Or, oh, I'm down in the dumps. Oh, man, I'm in Dumpsville. That's where I am. So people may say things like that, or, or they may say, I'm going to hell in a handbasket, that's where I am, along with everyone else. And then they'll start telling you about the political situation and all the problems in government, not what you were asking for, and not related to the concept of geographic location at all. So how would we come up with a more valid measurement that is a measurement that reflects the concept we're trying to measure? Well, we might say something like, <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Would you please tell me uh, the degrees of latitude and longitude uh, corresponding to your current geographic location, please? And well, while we're at it, uh, would you please uh, use units not just of degrees, but also right down to the level of minutes of, of, of latitude and longitude, which is a finer gradation. That would be very precise, and it would also be valid as a way of capturing the notion of geographic location. We've made it absolutely clear that's what we're talking about. It would, the, 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 the way of measuring would reflect the concept, and we would get very precise uh, uh, estimates because people are very glad to oblige in general. They really like to help satisfy you. So they will often give answers even when they have no idea what they're talking about. So if I am not uh, very well schooled in uh, degrees of latitude and longitude and the idea of minutes, I might say something like, uh, well, I think I'm at 30 degrees north latitude and uh, 75 degrees east uh, latitude. And um, uh, furthermore, I would add 50 minutes to each of those as the person consults their watch and completely confused about what the notion of minutes means when we're talking about latitude and longitude. Well, what the person has given is a very precise answer. And the way we've asked it is a very valid way of asking. It captures the concept, but we are going to get a wildly inaccurate and unreliable response. Uh, meaning, where if we ask lots of people in the same place where they are in terms of latitude and longitude down to the level of minutes uh, of latitude and longitude, we will get wildly varying answers. They will tend not to be accurate. And uh, therefore, it's not a very good way to measure location either. Hmm. How could we improve on that? How could we be precise? How could we measure location in a way that is validly talking about geographic place? Uh, hmm. oh, I could answer always to be accurate if I wanted to be accurate. Well, I'm on Earth. Wherever uh, I go, I'm on Earth. And so uh, what if everybody just indicated what planet they were on? It would be accurate, but that, you know, that wouldn't be precise, right? Because we want a finer grade uh, of, of, of detail. Hmm. It would be a valid answer. It would be accurate, but not precise. So, and it would be reliable too, <laughs> right? Uh, an imprecise answer can be very reliable. Unless there are UFO abductions or astronauts we're talking to, they're always going to be on Earth. But for precision, to get precision, uh, we might use a GPS unit. Handy dandy little unit. Uh, that would have an app, and we could talk to someone, we could interview them about other subjects, collecting other variables, and then we, and when we were done, we could very 
uh, carefully and quickly, tap a little button that would record the latitude and longitude right down to the, the, the minutes and probably the seconds of, of location north, south, east, and west. That's great. Um, it would be valid. It reflects geography. Um, it would be precise. It would be reliable, at least well into the 20th century. It would be reliable because uh, GPS technology is really advanced um, and accurate as well. But we couldn't say at the beginning of the 20th century that it would be reliable. I don't know if you uh, use GPS units around the year 2000, 2005, but they were not reliable back then. The technology was a little new. It was precise. You could ask for your location on a map, and usually it would not be on uh, a smartphone because there weren't smartphones out there. It would be on a computer. And the computer would give you a precise location on a map. It, it could point out the spot that you were in, but it could be half a mile off or a quarter of a mile off. And if you reloaded, you might get a different answer that was another quarter of a mile in another direction. It would be very precise. And the technique was valid, representing geography, but it was not reliable. It was not reliable. Uh, it would give answers that generally surrounded the truth, but that didn't always consistently give you the same answer, which is what reliability is. Uh, it's a good thing now we have measurements of geography that are uh, reliable, valid, uh, precise, and accurate. Uh, that means we can do a lot of things that we couldn't do before with location. And when you engage in social research and you're trying to design uh, ways of measuring variables, always try to reach that standard. Well, we may not be able to be as accurate in the social sciences as uh, GPS locators, but we can strive to get as close as possible.